If you're getting a P word, there you go. Did you need two? Manners are aplenty in Christine Mabry's kitchen at the Mountain View Boys and Girls Club. And thank you for throwing away your trash. Summertime is busy time for Miss Chris, who works for the Children's Mill Mission, serving close to 400 meals a day to kids in Mountain View and Spinard. Please, please. Thank you. You're welcome. With no school in session. We know that there's more than 20,000 kids that are food vulnerable. Dig in. Summer food programs are trying to fill the void to make sure hungry kids in Anchorage have an opportunity to eat. And the kids are just raving about everything that we're doing. It shows because we hardly ever have any food left over. Out in Goose Lake, same problem, different kids. You know, we're feeding adults, we're feeding children, we're feeding families. The warm weather hangout is one of the 20 sites the children's lunchbox, which is run by Beans Cafe, uses. <laughs> in the summer to serve 800 meals a day. Many kids depend on that hot meal every day at school, and when summer rolls around, they don't have that available to them in many sites. It's a dilemma. The Institute of Social and Economic Research says points to Alaska's high cost of living. Poverty is enemy number one. They put out the 2013 Kids Count Alaska report. It says the reason kids' economic well-being is not so good is because a lot of families in Alaska depend on seasonal employment and housing is expensive. According to their data, 27,000 Alaskan children live in poverty and 61,000 live in households where high housing costs are a concern. We have an increased percentage of families who spend more than 30% of their income on housing. So if you're spending more than 30% on housing, you don't have a lot left. Of course, you gotta figure out what, what, what are you gonna do? Either you're gonna provide a roof over your head or um, you're going to eat but you're going to be homeless. A question about survival. Now they may be getting one meal a day. It's hitting home with more and more Alaskan families. Don't forget your milk. Which is why people like Miss Chris are determined to keep cooking to make sure Alaska's kids can be fed year round. For the morning.